I'm feeling a bit better. Uh, I shared me, I think, yesterday that I'd had a, a nap. It was the first time I've had a nap for a while. And that's made up. I'm cutting back on my oil. Um, yeah, I think I only put seven squirts of oil into my um, morning point coffee come milky coffee sort of breakfasty drink um stomach thing's gone i had a bit of you know diarrhea but that's i think reacting to the amount of oil that i've been consuming is obviously probably a bit over the top um oh hi i'm going to get this on mate yeah see good bless you but it's another oh i've had to block somebody nasty piece of work see i don't normally take video um things uh no i was moving this bit to vi vi video this cunt and he is a cunt um he uh, threatened me um i was just being very polite said hello do you speak english guess what he is a computer programmer so maybe i have pushed his buttons but you don't um well unless he wants to get his head kicked in you don't threaten someone like me with violence and i hadn't done it get me on do the trip oh hello how are you never spoke to him before uh, yeah um do you speak english yeah being very polite um oh well i only speak english and he took me out from where he was and took me into what looked like a toilet. There's like a thing, a shower come toilet area. Probably wanted no witnesses. And then started doing this business to me, right? Um, obviously being very threatening and violent. Um, so I thought, well, yeah, well, dude, I'll just cut him off. That's what I do with people like that. You know, wasting my time. Um, so I've got his name. Well, I have contacted Facebook, but of course, whether they throw him off Facebook, but that's what I feel. He needs to be investigated. I'm pretty sure if he was like that with me, yeah, he's been like that with other people. Bashir Pi, I'll spell that B A S H E E R Pi. Now, he's off my friends list and he's blocked. But I, well, so I'm doing this. And now he needs to be moving off Facebook. Of course, they can independently assess it. Repeat myself. I'm pretty sure by this man's stature, mentality, get it? And there's, well, uh, he's fucked up and he needs removing from Facebook. Of course, that would be up to Facebook to assess. So he's barred from me. You know, he's an excommunicated. He's no longer a friend of mine. Obviously, he never was, but there you go. So I've got a waiting list of people who want to be my friends. So, oh dear. Um, so that's sort of an update on all the stuff. Um, oh, contacted Do uh, Jonathan uh, Douglas Ross, my MP. And they have for they didn't for the video, but anyway, they have um, the sector said on a formal request has been sent to them. That's the department of whatever, right? Um, but they've got a response. Um, uh, we'll get back to you in 20 days. That's to them, like the MP. But I then asked quite politely, well, look, could you, um, she didn't have it, and uh, send me a quick email when this date runs up why because i shall be fucking sending a video to, video to those cunts oh yeah i don't trust this department of work and pensions as far as i can shove them down the toilet and shit on them yeah these are cunts and these need slinging out of office so i think they get the chip but the chip is why i've got them by the testicles bollocks and cunts and all the rest I've got a clear record that I had to wait two and a half years to get my DLA. And that's on file. Right. Is that Mr. Clark? He's been through this shit. These are arrogant cunts. 
to put it mildly, oh, they're not going to accept blame and they're going to come out with this, that and the other and, oh, he's left it too late to appeal and all this shit. You go and fuck yourself, cunts. Because this isn't just me. This is a general complaint against the whole department and how many other hundreds, if not thousands of other people with a genuine claim have been refused. And I reiterate again, hi, Matty. Hi, John Barkley. They just, yeah, yeah. Well, they're people I know. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, hi, Matty. Well, you can see, Matty, I'm up to my eyes with this shit. I'm in a bit of a battle. But I've won probably a bit of ground. Well, no, um, I'm applying, I think I've told you about this, for a disability, no, a mobility allowance. This is locally, just with the local government. And I was refused it, and it's as clear as fuck to any cunt who's got two brain cells working. I am more than due it. I mean, I went out in a day, and just a little head wind. And I'm, oh, yeah, I'm that unsure on my legs. And this is all to do with the blood clot. And this blood clot goes back proven for two years. But don't get your knickers untwisted um, because I do get £20 a week. So they gave me some mobility component, you get it, but fucked me over by two pipes, which means I don't get enough to get a car. Hello. Yes, I'm just about to share that. Um, I phoned Douglas, his secretary, and I oh, will just share. It's just coming up, really jumping the gun. Um, they sent it off, and they have got a reply from them. Uh, we get back to you in 20 days. This is the sort of shit. Well, I suppose you But the trip is, I then asked her, could she email me? She didn't have day when this 20 days is up. Why? Because this cunt won't fuck with them. They get one of my fucking videos. Get it? Perfect excuse. Excuse me, I'm dyslexic. So even if I ring the cunts up, excuse me, I'm dyslexic. It's a real big problem for me to fucking type, which it is. Can you give me somewhere where I can post a video to you? And when this cunt moves in the spirit, imagine it. You can't refuse someone mobility because he called you a cunt. No. Well, you, you may have your own, um, you know, rules and regulations or whatever. But, you know, <laughs> we're talking about disability allowance. Now, if you want to take Mr. Clark to court, because I'll do the same trip the police did to me. Oh, this is a civil matter. Yeah. Well, so is this a fucking civil I'm going, I'm spinning up. Yeah, it's a civil matter. Someone calls you a cunt. Not threatening them. I'm just uh, uh, expressing opinion. You are a bunch of cunts and need removing. Whatever I say, see, so in the spirit. And if they think they can abuse their power, get it? Well, because it's a video, so I've got the evidence, you know. No, I said the magic going to call. No, I didn't tell them they could go and shove their heads down the toilet or whatever. No, I said they're a bunch of fucking cunts because I've got it. It's a video, and they need sacking, and I wouldn't let them wipe my fucking ass, Your Honour. See, this is what you've got to do, John. You've got to play them at their own games. Because they'll be made to look the cunts they are. Oh, I see. So Mr. Clark called you a cunt. Well, we'll have to have a jury to decide this. <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you, the jury, imagine it right. Yeah. It's a slant, right? A defamation of character. Yeah. <laughs> defamation of character. So they've got to get independent witnesses in. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know this is cunt brain shithead and she isn't a cunt. Cop sucking whore, but she isn't a cunt. <laughs> That's the trip. In a civil case, defamation of cats. See how pathetic it is. And you get this all over. Hey, don't say here. Hey, 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 hey. 
You know what I mean? It's a means of keeping you fucking controlled. Get it? Basically saying you can't get angry here. We should be able to get angry wherever the fuck we like. Angry. We'll just stick with that trip. Now, what do you do when you get angry? Yeah. Well, you don't say, oh, sugar, um, hey, hey, sugar, 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 rare. No, you swear. It's a natural form of expressing your anger. You get me? Oh, sugar just doesn't cut it. Yeah, this is the trip in a nutshell. In the amount of departments, people I've rung up, see, they've had this. Why? Because they've had people angry at them before. Get it? Well, I don't like this where I come here and I get some cunt swearing at me. It's just, I often apologise first. Right, I had this thing with the um, Bank of Scotland. Right, Oh, yeah, they're, they're on the way out. I've started proceedings with Nationwide, but, John, I've got to admit, they can't offer me credit just simply that's it and we've been all through it so i still might need to um find somewhere that can offer me credit no i think it's the credit unions get it because banks have all this oh i did have this years ago again the same trip because i'm in a very tight financial situation because I haven't got a credit card, get it? Um, I ended up having to go into what's called sequestration, which is like a private person's trip of, um, well, being made oh, what got. Oh, It's a process, you go, it's a legal thing. Basically saying you've got no money. Companies generally do it, but an individual can do it, right? So that meant that um, the people to approve this Right, so basically I've got in debt, big lot of debt, can't pay it, get it? And the way out for a person can be to go into what's called sequestration, which is the man in the streets version of bankruptcy. There you go, right. But to go through this process, which I went, you have to be assessed by the, um, and it's free, the lawyers you've gone to. So you go to a lawyers, they provide this service free, because obviously you're a poor cunt anyway, and part of the assessment is they come to your home. Right? So I did. I was in perfect scenario. I was in a caravan. Imagine how many belongings I had there. Fuck all. Guess what? I've just been evicted by the Findorn Foundation. Yeah. See how it all connects together? And uh, this cat, to say it's rough, would be an understatement. You'll know it's on the way to... Um, Oh, out of uh, forest, yeah, and you end up with him and S, so you know, and on the left there's the River Findorn. You do actually go over a bridge. But you turn left there, and just down your nose if you follow it, there's a caravan park. And the roughest shit hole you can get, yeah. Again, it's full of whatever, unemployed people, you name it, the dregs. Because it is. Imagine living in a caravan in winter. Yeah, I've done that because of the Findorn Foundation. We're backtrack on that. I was evicted because I gave someone, a middle-class fuck pig cunt, a pair of them, a tarot reading. Now, we look at that on many angles. Okay, he's inexperience and they didn't like the tarot reading, get it? That's no reason to have the person fucking thrown out of his home. Oh, yeah. That's why they didn't like the reading. And there was, that's it. The baby, that's proved the reading was right. I said to them, this centre is not right. Good night, then. But yeah, yeah, she's just popped in. It's not right for you. Oh, come on. What the fuck is it? So I've got someone... Well, I can't see you are. Right, any time you want to speak to me, I'm probably doing a live video. 
and if you've got the facilities, there's a comment box. So you do, can you hear that? Lung, lung. It's someone trying to, but yeah, there, you heard it again. It's someone trying to get me on the phone. Well, I've got it on because most people know, because you can see them online, that's the trip. You can see them online, rare, and you want to speak to me, rare, and I don't seem to be coming, rare. You check here, live. And if you've got a computer, well, Matty's done it. She hasn't got, I know John, what's it, Bart, yeah. Matty hasn't got a computer. She's just got an iPad. You know, but a reasonable bit of kit. Because not all phones allowed to do that. Rare. And you can get a man, you know, if it's life risking, get a high ground with fucking legs, whatever. You know what I mean? A life risking situation. You can do it via the comments. Now, those that don't know are people who don't really know me. Yet yeah, it's the same trip. So I'm learning as you do with it. Yeah. The amount of fucking channelings I've fucked up because some cunt go, mm, mm, and then I have to stop going to them. It's some cunt just wanting to say hi, right? Well, oh, did I, I don't know if I shared about this cunt. Yeah, I think I have. I've had to ask Facebook to remove a cunt. Again, that's in the spirit. We see now the amount of people I have time to fucking answer and do answer, it's different cunts matter. But again, in the spirit, I accept this person's call, right? And then I say to him quite politely, oh, um, well, see, art here. do you speak English? And they probably go, I only speak English. So it's obviously about the terminator, you know, don't put... You know, right, uh, you know, hello, I uh, ran all this, but you can't speak English, and what's the fucking right, right? But oh, he was a nasty piece of work. I know he is, I know he's a computer worker. Get it, a plot thickens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is he filth? Well, the only recent videos I've done about Hell's Angels, well, not really about them, but. You get me? And it's about me trying to establish whether a lottery winnings is general, genuine, right? And it's very reasonable. I suggested to Mark Zuckerberg that this lady who I've been asked to send £250 to, I said, well, can she just pass a simple ID test, please? Now that means I'm requesting her to see a current photograph with a clipping from a newspaper with today's date. Now why? Because when people hack your email, of course they get that your silly little ID um, fucking photograph as well. They've hacked their email. It's not them. So a way around it is that you can ask, well, can you give me an up-to-date photograph uh, including today's date newspaper it's a classic trip what you do she hasn't managed to do that no i don't think that's being unreasonable at all seeing as the fbi well again that's another trip see i've clearly inferred that this isn't facebook and this is nigerian scam filth cunt shit terrorists well i'll generally well take it up with the fbi love See, I'm not some cunt who's on a paranoid trip. This is what's been told me. And I'm being just normally careful. Get it? Someone's asking me to give them 250 quid. And then prior to that, uh, there was a were an excuse for this new payment. Get what the fucking said now. But basically, as I interpret it, was saying um, that they're going to send my money online. It's a term they use. They might have noted it down. Okay. Again, this fucking book's getting real to fuck. Well, you just have to take the word for it. It's just one word, but it's meaning... Um, oh, fucking hell, man. I need a secretary, so I do.
But anyway, I've got this thick. She's got three email addresses. Well, okay, so. A uh, recent email said her name Sus. It's FB, which means abbreviation for Facebook. Then rare rosemary3 at gmail.com. Now, this is her Google Hangouts. Get it? So that was the way I'm supposed to be in communicate with her. But the term that was given me simply means um, it's a fee to authorize or enable well yeah a, a, a wire connection for the money to be sent by wire activation there you go now what would you think activation fee 250 pound well i've been told not what it is get it well what would you think activation that means you pay this to activate something whether it's a link or what and no cunts got back to me. Again, we're going back to this uh, rosemary. Get it? Go in the circle. Rosemary is the address I've been given to send the £250. And you can see that, yeah, it could mean Facebook, Rosemary. But how the fuck do I know? And then they've given me no explanation of, well, what is activation? Get it? Because prior to this, they were getting all this money from me, £1,000 for customs, get it? And the trip being that my car was being delivered with the money in it, actually the money, you get it? And this is where the IMF fees come in. That's what they do. They count the money, they put a big fancy label on it, and that means it will be excused to many taxes. Because I'm saying it's a lottery prize, right? IMF. Then I get an FBI fee. Well, whatever. They also authorise it. Okay, you could argue well, that's still irrelevant. Um, oh, but there's a couple of other fees. It's the same sort of thing. And I'm, well, we just go around the circle. Can you explain what the activation fee is for? Get it? Then I've also asked, again, being fobbed off, you know, can I have copies of all the receipts of all the payments I've made? Perfectly reasonable. I have to give them receipts? When I've been sending these Amazon cards, I've had to fucking photograph them, photograph the receipt from the fucking shop. Get it? And all this shit, and this is through Kate Tim, and I can't read that, can you send it again? Right, just chips, you know, so you did it. Uh, and now I'm asking, well, have you got the receipts and the um, customs for a thousand pounds? Yeah, rare, I like that. FBI, rare, 500 pounds, yeah, I like receipts. Don't like worry, rare, and other things. Because if they ask Andrew, you know what I mean? They're basically then committing a federal offence. I shouldn't be saying this. Oh, yeah. If you were, so there's, okay, there's ripping off a poor old age pensioner, cunt like me. Very low scale in the FB's uh, calligulum of offences, get it? That's the whole problem. We're just, oh, well, fuck them. That's it. But when they start impersonating government bodies, by sending fraudulent receipts, Rah! then they're committing a federal offence. Well, maybe impersonating the FBI, impersonating the customs, then they've got some obligation to act. Oh, I am making a valid point here. I should have the same amount of legal protection uh, whatever, because if I am being robbed of money, get it? Uh, yeah, the FBI should be acting. They're filth. Even if they are just that, they're filth. But there's so much shit, corruption online. Yeah, corruption. So certain bodies are probably getting backhanders to not actually take action. So they get a backhander. Well, <sighs> Western Union? Oh, yeah. 
This is a previous scam, but it now links in with my current one. So Western Union were used by a bunch of scam artist cunt shit to get a £900 payment out of me. And I went for it because you've got, you're given a name and address of who this money's going to. And get it, Western Union has this name and address. They're like an agent. Get it? So they turn up to the Western Union office and they have their identity that proves they are wallabrunk, cunt brain, piece of shit, cunt shit, get it, who can pick up the money. In fact, I had two of these cunts IDs because they fucked up or something and uh, came back, well, can you now send it to fuck brain, cunt, shit ass, cunt, bullet in the fucking head at birth, shit. I said, oh, fair enough, yeah, right. Then this eventuated it's a scam. Meaning, I forget what it was now. Yeah, I was buying something for 900 quid. And it was a good price, but it wasn't. It is total bollocks, right? So then I go back to Western Union. Because you would think, seems to be a pattern here, they would have insurance against this. And again, that's why I felt secure. And not only that, well, I've got the names of the cunts and dress. Yeah, false sense of security. Because then I met with, oh, hang on, this is this thing. What do I do this next generation? What a load of shit that is. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's fucking out of Mongolia. This is fucking America. Oh, you know, what do emails have you read? Yeah, email. So the police here, in their official capacity, email the fucking, oh, fucking hell. Western fuck pig cunt union in America. And so we've got a customer here, and he's got this name and address, of a person he sent money to and it appears to be a scam right and then well they already knew rare well can you arrest the cunt please that's it can you arrest this cunt we've got the evidence here and they will have it because it's all recorded get it the 900 pound transaction was recorded and it was also recorded who the cunt was that picked it up. <laughs> so you tell me I'm just a cunt idiot. Well, I'm fucking wising up. Now they were unable to have this man arrested. What the fuck's jurisdiction got to do with it? The cunt's a feeding piece of cunt shit. End of story. So they go around the cunt's house and, uh, well, we got on a, well, there could be that slight twist. Well, it wasn't me. Some cunt stolen my identity. Yeah. But then we go back to compensation. Do you check these agents that come to you? What level of check? Oh, I am getting angry. Oh, yeah. Of check do you do? Get it? Well, we, um, you know, you do look at the card and see that this cunt looks like that. Rare. Or there's some other check. I'd have thought there should be some level of check for someone purporting or intending to be an agent that could probably pick up thousands and thousands of dollars. Get an appointed agent. So whoever's fucking screaming this cunt needs to be sacked. But more importantly, I need compensation. If they've got a fraudulent contact who has stolen my money, I am due a similar, and it's, it's six of one and five of the other. Either he is a genuine agent or B, he isn't, and then automatically I'm due compensation. I mean, and the Western Union should have insurance for this. Sort of cut down the amount of times that fucking fraud and cunt shit that should have a fucking bullet put in their fucking head at birth can get to that position to have a Western Union agent's identity card. Get it? 
But what happened? Here's the trip. Right, who's the fucking nigger in the wood pile here? Not me, fucking Western Union. Yet I get punished. I am blacklisted. This is how all this fucking thing with fucking Facebook started. Facebook generally just ask you, the lottery winner, oh, can you pay us by Western Union? And even if you haven't got an account, it's quite easy to take up an account. We go round in a circle, and then they, Facebook, will provide you with a name of an agent, get it, that you can send to, and they're all checked by Western Union, so then I just go down to Western Union, fill in this form, give the name and address of the contact that I'm about to send it to, and that should have been it. Well, it wouldn't have been it because they carried on milking me, but it fucked, it was blocked. Of course, I did throw a wobbler. How would you feel? You go into a Western Union office, uh, you pay them, well, quite a few hundred pounds, See, again, it's happening. You can hear it. You can hear that clunk. I'm just checking. No, it's not no one here. Here again. Now, that's someone. Okay, I'll just, they're trying to get me on the messaging service, right? But they're, oh, hold on. No. No, they're just people who've joined. Good night, Daddy. Sorry, I'm not feeling. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that message. Yeah, I've answered John Barkley. Um, Yes, I have heard back from, I've just, I've done that. They basically said that um, they're going to get back to them. That's the PIPs people in 20 days. And I've asked uh, to send me a quick email with its exact date because they'll be getting one of my videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why it's good to do a video. Ah, oh, right. Tip. Oh, people can change things or hear things they want to hear on the phone. He called me a fucking whatever. Some of them use, you know, fucking sex pervert and I ought to have my bollocks chopped off, which I don't. But you know me, something like that. Very offensive in that. Right? You can even fraudulently uh, make a tape, but they can't really make a video so easy. You know what I mean? Oh, they could chop it, but it wouldn't work. Well, good dear, see, they could... Fuck it hell, they could cut that out, you can't, and then say that's what you get them, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, with the technology available, see, it's easy to do these things now. You know, you can buy a video editing program for, what, probably 50 quid. And that's what they do. You put the film into it, you can slow it right up, you can cut bits out, Put bits in there, you fucking horse killing, animal fucking eating, whatever, animal fucking cunt, right? Which is, I wouldn't normally say that, but you get, you get the gist. And then it's put in a few special effects and, you know, make it a sudden a bit of a bad connection. And then that could, in theory, be used as evidence. So your best tip is to record the copy yourself, send it, but it's kept on your hard disk, and there's any fucking hanky-panky cunt shit, kiss my cunt ass and suck my cock business, you can say, well, no, this is what I said. And you've got a copy of it. No. And you would know, no, I didn't say that. You know, I mean, I do think you're a bunch of cunts, get it, and whatever, but I didn't say that. It's not my style or whatever. Because they're deliberately exaggerating it for effect. Bloody hell, we're covering some ground today, Graham. Right, we're meant to be talking about Hell's Angels 3. I've done the feedback. I've done that. So we know, that's right. That's all Douglas things. So that's shall for another 20 days. But I'm on top of it, as I say. Because I'll be getting an email and that'll give me the date and put it on the code of what right. I don't get any answer then. Quickly ring them up. Have they got back to you? Yeah, yeah. Well, they try all this on. You know, liars. These are liars. Yeah. 
get it? Oh, we get back to you in 20 days, then they come up with some other cunt shit. Oh, and member staff, ill, rare. We get back to you another, they're just milking it. Get it? And this gives them more time to build up their lies. Well, actually, Mr. Clark was told, rare. yeah, see, that's the truth, that he should actually attend the fucking meeting. And this is told, by the citizens' advice, because that's them trying to get out of it. Get it? Oh, well, he did tell Mr. Clark that he should have been. What the fuck's that got to do with it? Get it? The truth is the truth, and the truth is he does have this disability, he does have this blood clot, and he does have this heart condition, and he has rock solid evidence of when this condition was officially diagnosed nearly two years ago. Yeah. And he does have a heart attack. Sorry, a heart. And that's got a age, sure, though that isn't in it, but it's a part of the trip. Because this heart condition affects me that I can't climb upstairs. So that's certainly, um, well, what's it? On the motorbikes. I don't, I've got to tell you, and I shouldn't have it. I, oh, I think, oh, they're not in England. Wheeler D, or something. Oh. Red, I should return. I should. I'm, uh, it's wasting electricity and whatever. I'm not watching it. Well, actually, it's the first time I've had to tell you on. I love that there's this vet program. And it's a, a vet, a real vet. And you go in and you see him operating on cats and dogs. And it's a brilliant program. And he is, um, what the fuck's that? There's a few TV programs I watch. That's that. Um, I love this Nightfall, all about the Knights Templar. Fucking brilliant. Um, so I love that, but I haven't watched that for a bit. Been a wee bit busy these last, like I said, I've had to have a nap. Oh, but you've just got to move with the flow. I've had no response back from the Hells Angels, but that's understandable. Right. Yeah, they have meetings, they have their, you know, format and stuff, and an angel could get hold of one of these videos and report back to the chapter, and they have their meetings, and there's a president, get it, and that, and it's discussed. Do we want to get involved with this person? Or do we want to help them? And, and if we do, how much should we charge him just to pop into Menlo Park Bank? California, right, which is Facebook's bank, to just make an initial inquiry. But they do this as an official appointed debt collector. So they've got cards, identity card, got bulletproof vests, I believe, and in America, well, so they can be armed. Yeah, right. The sort of people they've got to deal with, debt collectors, are. Can be some pretty rough cunts. Yeah, that'd be our describe them, rough cunts. You see that on the telly, so no, but it's real. So the debt collectors, they go round to this person's address and they've got official authorization to tow the car away, as an example, unless they cough up some money. But then there we get a thing that we're coming back in two weeks' time. Get it? But some cunts might come the fucking cunt. Be fucking silly if they do, but you know, fuck off, you cunt. Uh, whack! Oh, sorry about that, sir. Oh, you don't speak like that to angels. That's why they're brilliant. And cunt. Don't take shit from any cunt. I think they've got to watch it a bit. Well, ugh. he went to go for me, officer. It looked like he's about to draw a gun. I didn't know. And he verbally insulted me, so it's clear he possibly was going to get physically violent. So I decked the cunt. Might have to alter the statement. <laughs> yeah. Because that's their job, and the police would know this is their job. They would know this cunt anyway. He's got a history of being violent, and they would just accept the debt collector's story. Right? And probably arrest the cunt. Oh, yeah. They're literally like police. They're not, but they've got a job to do. 
And it can get violent, of course it can. Which you can get some come to is gonna come jack the fucking lad and end up jack the fucking Jill. Yeah. So going back, I lose my joss. So certain house angels chapters in California are doing this as a legitimate form of job. But if they're not, I might have to go out of state. I don't know. Because this has been put out, you know, I would want people who are officially appointed as debt collectors. But I'd like them to be house angel based. Yeah. So they are house angels, but their day job <laughs> is a debt collector. But when they meet in their chapters and have, of course, they wear their letters in. I've had house angels come to my doors, insurance agents, system. <laughs> yeah, again, a legitimate job. Oh, uh, we know the new road to charge, see. Uh, you drive a charge. Oh, well, yeah, I do actually. Yeah, you know. Have you got life insurance? Um, well, no, but I don't think I really need it. And then they go on about, well, if you have an accident, you're covered, you go into a hospital and all this, if you've got a job, if you've got relatives, get it, dependents, rare, which I hadn't. So they said, well, you know, maybe, no, I mean, it's not really of any use to me, is it? If I get killed, there's nobody that's going to benefit or any, you know, I have money paid to, I've got no relatives, that's it. So it slightly went away, but I could suss they were. Well, maybe they weren't, maybe they just bought you. What's the fucking difference? Yeah. Yeah. Um, come on, Graham. You lose it. Well, what's the time? <laughs> I'm needing a drink. Oh, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I've got some lovely grapes. But that just doesn't quite, well, it does. It doesn't really do it. And these are sugar. They're beautiful and they're juicy. And they're seedless. Mm. 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 Sweet, no seeds, juicy as fuck. Mm. But, right, um, I haven't got a glass. You know, so I've got a tap here. Mm, right. Emergency cup. Mm. Oh. oh, nectar. And that is just pure pyramid water. Right? Yeah, it is actually. Oh no, it will have had collidial silver added. But silver is a very natural uh, antibiotic. And generally, this is where your healing wells and things come from, where people have chucked silver in. And a very small, I mean, you see, small part of the silver has entered the water and the well gets a reputation, which it will be for a healing well. Yeah, just you can make your own. I've got a proper electrolysis machine, but basically, you can just get a silver rod and just whack it in a bowl or a, a thing and just leave it. And very small, minute particles of the silver go into the water. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I can taste the collidial silver. There's a slight back taste. Right. And where were we? Uh, we've done that, Hells Angels, for you. Still want Hells Angels to act as possible collection agents of my money. It's a gesture of goodwill, and it'll give them the publicity and promotion they need. Or oh, I'll be saying things I won't trust any other cunt than Angels, I'd say, and things like that. 
Well, most of these other cunts, I wouldn't trust them in my, my fucking ass. Because there are other people that do this, yeah. But no, I told no, I particularly want a house angel based unit. Which I do. <laughs> and uh, the chip would be they've just got to pop into the bank. I don't think they do this over the phone, so you have got to physically go in. But in your proper uniform, and and if you need a formal authorization by me, all done online. I haven't got a fax facility, but um, that you see, you can actually send a document, sign it, and then send it back. Uh, I haven't got fax. I mean, fax isn't. Oh God, there is a library. But I'm sure we can work something out, yeah, you know, Jet Word, and I can give you um, an email with my photograph in it, which they've obviously got. Um, again, just on top of some of the data thing, you know, is me there, yeah, and they've got my phone number. It seems to be reticent to use it, yeah, and but they have got my email. So hypothetically, this can be resolved in minutes, right? And then I would, we'd agree what a reasonable fee would be for you to actually pick up my money, pick up my car. Um, well, man, oh boy. If we come to an agreement, you just take the fee. I mean, my, oh, yeah, you might have to send us for some first can't be that's it yeah it'd be protected that no one can actually take any money out of it but me well you just have to trust me you gotta trust us captain b's like yeah <coughs> we come to an agreed fee well you got me car security yeah you go cars are 50 grand yeah see that's it you will be given permission to pick up there you go that's the trip sold You've got a fifty thousand pound Toyota car for security. Yeah, that should do it. And then the chip would be: I do get a, a, a flight to California. We have some kind of little party, you know, whatever. Don't drink, but do smoke. And I believe uh, it's legal to smoke marijuana in California. Yeah. And. Um, and that would be it. I mean, I don't think I'm intending to stay in California. Well, you're going to have to. There you go. Get well, I could actually set up some kind of home in California and the car's kept there. And then I'd just buy an ordinary Toyota here. You know, because you don't think you can get them highly, you know, here. They're on American import and all this shit. But I can get a reasonable Toyota off-road car, you know, the features I need, rare, for about 32000 or whatever. Um, so whatever. And I'm waffling, because this is just speculation in the spirit. So there's that. Um, this would be Hell's Angels free, And I would think this will get back to relevant Hells Angels chapters, or I can actually target them if they have got a Facebook page, as an example. It's very easy for me to transfer this and direct this video to them. If they have got um, websites, I should think, yes, I can obviously send the video, because this is the way I talk. I'm dyslexic. So that's it. This is my means of communicating with people. It's doing, I've been doing this for years. Just do a quick video to them, and that's it. The amount of time I would take to actually write a letter. Oh, no one's business. Being quick. It is a slight aftertaste. But come on, Graham, believe your own thing. This water's under a pyramid, so far from it getting polluted, it's actually being cleansed. Yeah. Yeah, less particles say happens. I mean, no, no, it's clear. 
the glass is clean. I could probably do a new clean, yeah. Bit of a clean. But there will be a slight aftertaste. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking me sound. Look, you silly cunt. It's got silver in it. Okay. You talk to me like that, you cunt. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck are you? Oh, yeah. It's an old joke. Schizophrenic. I'm having an argument myself. Used to crack up the beat, then the drop in I went. You know, it's the same joke, but just a different skint. Because some of them are pretty deep in depression. To put it mild. So I just crack through their division. Look, you cunt! Who the fuck are you? You get me? <laughs> it's like a punch and Judy. And most people couldn't hold back but laugh. Because it is funny, funny, ridiculous funny. But like anything, you can't keep that up for an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who are you saying you can't do this? Fuck off, you can. And uh, I've done quite a few videos. I call it the uh, poor man's punch and Judy. And the poor man means he's only got one puppet. So he just turns <laughs> right. So one bloke's that way, right, rare, and the other character's that way. <laughs> poor man's punch and Judy. <laughs> All right, Graham. <laughs> oh dear well i do feel like rounding it up what are we you don't always have you got this thing oh for fuck yeah it's 50 what you know i think about we got to do at least an hour Graham. well we may as well end up with my mr zoobucker now look mr zoobucker i believe that your admin needs stripping down a peg or two because you've inferred to me a couple of times that, um, quote, my hands are tied. And you massive, you constantly, you've made a gesture to help me. And then you've gone back on it. Yeah. Like you, probably already suggested to the admin, well, look, he only owes us, because it isn't, well, it is SOC, it's 250 quid. You know, surely we can trust him for that. Or I'm prepared to trust him for that. But again, you see, they pulled their little trip cards. Oh, no, uh, you don't have anything. Uh, we're the authority here and we vote on things and that's why we are set up. So here's the trip. I was saying, can you call a meeting with your admin and put to them, so it's coming from me, that they send me my lottery winnings or release them to Hells Angels, same difference. Um, and that I will pay them. No, I said that wrong. Well, it could be that. But no, that Mark Zubecker is allowed to pay my £250 outstanding. And then it's between me and Mark. And again, I will just say, well, Mark, if you want that money paid back, I will. But at the moment, they don't allow that. They're just coming to cunts. They're on a power trip. Now, we made these rules, and they're the same for everybody. They're, you know, everyone's got to pay every single penny of their fees before they get the money. Well, I say rules have be broken or transcended, you stupid cunts. And the cunt idiot drugged up the cunt with speed and fed him in fucking 10 needles up his cunt ass or whatever would be out successful. Just give the cunt his money and then he'll pay you what money he owes you. And it's all this bollocks and all this fucking woman, Rosemary, well, I'll see if I can do that. Fuck them, they're all out the window. Yeah. I get my lotteries and I couldn't give a fuck if I never see any of these cunts again. Good fucking riddance, you cunt idiots. Oh, yeah, I'm getting that. You may have had some agenda about trying to take me over like a fucking pet dog. Oh, yeah, Mark's indicator. All this oil stuff you make, would you like us to promote it for you? That was obviously disgust. No, fuck off, you cunts. Yeah. So you've got like an agenda. They're treating me like some cunt idiot, retard, 
treating me like a pet dog. Well, I've shared about this. Yeah. Prabhupada had that problem. Yeah. Spiritual master, devotee summoned and went a bit over the top. What's well, an interesting story. And the master visited um, back to Dantaman, which is where I was staying. Then he goes down the road, yeah. But he just came to visit back to Dantaman, and that's how I met George Harris. And because he came, and all the other devotees it was kept secret from. I wonder why. Because they're all on a fucking, what well, the shit, they're knickers. Yeah? Come, Carol, come. <laughs> right? Whereas me, I couldn't give a fuck. Well, yeah. I was scrubbing the steps and George Harrison came. No one in the temple. It's all been cleared, get it? Um, I did see his car. I've got to admit, I see he had some fucking, uh, some sports car. You know, whatever. And because um, I'm high up on the steps, well, he passed me, Hare Krishna, and I'm singing Hare Krishna. And of course, I looked a bit startled. He was very thin. I sort of, that's my impression. He looked very thin. So he probably was a bit drawn. But, you know, in the photographs, you generally see is isn't like that. Said Hare Krishna. And then I did. I go, well, what are you fucking hell? And went to the window to look out, and there it was. He had this fucking, uh, well, a sports car company it was, but you know, quite an expensive sports car. Of course, it stood out because there's not many vehicles there anyway. It all fucked off for this festival, man. That's how they timed it, see? So, so most of the devotees are out on the street, Jagannath or something, a big fucking do, and they get loads of food and. Big deal. Now, that's it. That's how I ask for volunteers. And I did. Again, if I'm asked, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, I don't give a fuck. I, you know, yeah, needs to sit, see. Volunteer. Yeah, I'll do it. You know, and back to and that's it. But they were all out on the seats, Jack and Singh, and he comes in, brush me. Oh, yeah, we touch. Of course, I always touch for fuck's sake. I'm on the step. And he sniggled a bit, so I was giving it some welly. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. I give me a bit of welly. Which was how some people, it's clear they had lost the trip a bit. <laughs> bit of a difference. Mechanical para. No, it's just. Just got to do it to justify their existence, you know. Uh, uh, ah! Yeah. Things are about to change in Christian. They did as well. Though. <laughs> right. Finish your story and fuck off, you cunt. Yeah. Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so, George Harrison passed me. Giving it a lot of welly, rare. Later on, <laughs> maybe the next morning or whatever, <laughs> there's all these devotees and all, oh yeah, and Prabhupada came down, yeah, but it's a normal worship session, right? And there's all this. And someone was shouting, oh, I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, you know, I've got some of his shit. <laughs> I said it now. Yeah, how else could he say? He... <laughs> oh, he'd gone to the toilet, to Prabhupada's toilet, and fished out a bit of shit. And somehow, <laughs> you know, he got like a relic or whatever. Yeah, you know, now he's going to intend to preserve it. I don't know. <laughs> And then I, <laughs> I think it's about time I left here, Wilma. It fucking was. And even Prabhupada, I mean, they did. Uh, it was like a cheating Prabhupada. Yeah, just like, what like a fucking pet dog. Don't you know how I can describe it? 
I don't know how this ties in with these cunts. I'm saying that. <laughs> what were you waffling on about? That you've gone here to then give an example for some in here. Well, I don't think people are cheating me like a pet. Well, I could do, but in the wrong way. Yeah. I'm just like a pet animal. And in their estimations, they can do the hell what they want because I'm just their pet. Yeah. Not even cheating me as their equal. Get it? Well, yeah. The way I've been treated by Facebook is that. It's right out of date. This latest trip, you're not paying 250 pounds for it. For, I've even forgotten what the fuck it is now because it's so bollocks. Ugh. Activation. Right? Well, activation of what? Eh, I'm meant to be, oh, forget it, people are getting sick and so am I. I'm meant to be having the money sent up. And if they're going to wire it to me, get the activation. Yeah. What the fuck have I paid all this money for? And then, oh, can't they trust me for 250 quid? Because I haven't got it, needless to say. And I am right in the middle of changing banks. But that's just for my benefit. As good as saying, well, don't send me my winnings now if you are intending to do that, because it won't be properly open possibly until the 29th. I still have my other card, but there's your chip. I don't want the money paid into that card. Get it? These cunts of Bank of Scotland are not going to want to lose a deposit of $750,000. I would be well pissed off. Every day that makes interest. Oh, I got a bit of a problem. Rare. Send it to you in eight days or some bollocks to you. Every day a sum that big is in crediting interest daily, probably in an hourly rate. And they'd be well pissed off. Oh, yeah, that would go to supervisory level if it gets out. You what? See it come out then? Mr. Clark asked you to fuck, asked you to email the bank in America to verify whether or not this uh, lottery winnings are genuine, and you didn't do it. Fucking one less bank manager, I think. Because again, it's it's not it's not like asking, can you write a twenty-page letter? And it's a fucking email. And then might have had to, oh, I'm getting sick of it. Might have had to say, you know, well, look, you know, we need to have proof that Mr. Clark is prepared for us to allow to release his information. Yeah, just sort of still is that. I am on time. Right, I'm going, fuck it, that's it. Right, I'm calling it a day. It's just gone an hour. Bye bye, blessed hell's angels. If you have got a chapter, or I know you have, near California, can one of you contact me? Email Gampa, I'll spell it G H A M P A 77 at gmail.com, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, of course, I'll meet you halfway. You say, Well, we haven't quite got a debt collection agency, but um, yeah, but you've got to have some official capacity because it's obvious the police are going to get called anyway. And as long as you've got a legitimate reason to be there, that's it. Well, they can ask you to leave. I don't know, oh, fucking hell. I've been watching too many movies. I've got to go. So bye for now.